and take a look at some of the big stories coming out of Kenya this week. Let's take a look at Equity Bank Scooping African Award. What are the fundamentals of this bank that is working? Uh, thank you very much. First of all, this is a very unique model for the microfinance. So uh, I see just like last year, they also scooped a similar award, uh, but not as high as this one. So I think the very unique features for this particular uh, uh, bank is the reach to the unbanked and particularly the rural side of the countryside. And I think that's a unique concept uh, that can be replicated anywhere else to cater for the lower and uh, small scale uh, kind of investors. So I think it's a unique kind of a, a bank. Let's take a look at KCB. Um, it, it, it has does it come up with mobile banking. Does that make it more competitive versus Co-op Bank launching its mortgage products? Um, uh, first of all, the, 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 the mobile product is has been taken up by a couple of banks. I think KCB is one of them, NIC is one of them, and a couple of other banks are coming up with the same model. Um, it makes it a bit, uh, a little bit uh, more competitive, but it's not a unique uh, kind of an idea, uh, given that other banks have the same kind of facility. Maybe going forward is uh, what KCB is going to benefit is they're going to be able to penetrate to the areas where uh, mobile banking has not been there, particularly on the rural areas where um, carrying cash has been an issue, and this one can cater for that kind of a, a market. And, and I think it's going to be very competitive too, given that. Uh, uh, some of the utility bills that we use every day can be set up from the account using that particular kind of service. So it's a good plus for KCB. Let's move over to the tourism sector. There are talks that uh, the sector is headed for a full recovery. How true is that? Uh, maybe 50%, I don't know. Uh, normally, ordinarily, this is the time when the high season sets in, uh, from the period between uh, September all the way to March. Uh, normally we'll register most of the uh, numbers in tourists and most of the hotels are fully booked and, and particularly the parks and all over the place. All the activity on the, on the tourism picks up um, around this time, the third quarter and the first quarter. So it's very true. Probably uh, one of the biggest challenges that that industry has is uh, the spend per tourist has come drastically very, very low. So probably one of the things they need to do is to increase the numbers and the turnovers for the tourists. Uh, that are visiting the country, particularly for the international tourists, and as well as encourage the domestic tourism, uh, which could be another source of um, business for that sector. Yeah, we'll have to look into that story a little bit later in full detail. But just give us a market expectation for next week, just before we go. Uh, first of all, we, we have entered a season of uh, stability. We don't expect a lot of changes uh, in the stock market. Uh, all the announcements are done. Uh, people are looking forward to... Um, the end of the third quarter, which is coming next week. So there's not much movement to expecting. The index should be playing between 3,000 and 3,100 for the next uh, couple of weeks. Probably what you're going to see, a bit of changes in some of these stocks like Kengen or probably Safaricom, where there's a bit of some information coming out, the bond being subscribed. And probably if it's get over subscribed, then a bit of interest comes back to Kengen. But I think going forward, the market's going to be a bit uh, stable and probably no major surprises going forward. Only the fact that um, as the quarter ends, there's going to be so much uh, enthusiasm trying to expect what did the quarter do for most of the listed companies. Then that one can change the markets.